You will never see the narcissist the same way after this. The narcissist is never going to change. Their behaviors are persistent and pervasive. This is just how they are. They have to act and portray themselves as more impressive, successful and important than they really are. They have to puff themselves up with pride and vanity, but they're not doing that because they love themselves. Narcissism results from self-hatred. It helps them to avoid shame and insecurity. Because deep down they feel like nothing they do is good enough. They feel like they are unworthy. Which is why they have to create this false image of being better than other people. Which can be very damaging and destructive to you. And it can also hurt them. Narcissists have an inflated ego. They believe that they are special and unique. They believe they are more important than other people. So they feel entitled to privileges and special treatment. And anyone who doesn't act in accordance with their wishes and commands is useless to them or they are seen as their opposition as someone who is against them because they feel entitled to have whatever they want without having to earn it and if they don't have it they will be very bitter and resentful because in their minds it's unfair In their minds, they have been forced to accept something that they don't like. So they will try to find other ways to get it. They will try to exploit you. They will try to take advantage of you. And they won't feel bad for doing that because they lack empathy. So they will do anything to get what they want. They will deliberately seek out people who are kind and generous. And anyone who stands against their sense of entitlement will be met with hostile or violent behavior. Or the narcissist will indirectly express their negative feelings instead of openly addressing them because they believe they're always right. They believe they're not responsible for anything. They believe they're not directly involved in an event yet suffering its consequences because they believe they have high moral standards. They're self-righteous. They believe they're totally correct and morally superior. So everyone else must be wrong. They will always be the hero or the victim. They will never be the bad guy. They will always know more than everyone else. You may be the master of your craft. You may have comprehensive knowledge and skill in a subject. You may have years of experience. But the narcissist will still know more than you. Or they will know someone who knows more than you. Because they always have to be right. They always have to be superior. They always have to be in control. And if you should challenge them on their ideas or opinions, they will be very resistant. They won't accept it. 
because it threatens their reality. It threatens the illusions of their false self. So they will get very angry or they will get depressed, which will leave you walking on eggshells. It will leave you being extremely cautious of your words and actions, where you are very careful not to upset or offend them because they are very sensitive to criticism. You will become unwilling and hesitant to criticize their false reality. Because you know that you're going to be punished for doing that. So they condition you to not challenge them. And they associate themselves with things that they believe to be a symbol of status, wealth or power. While they lie and exaggerate about their own accomplishments because all they really want is praise and admiration. And if they don't get it, they will devalue you or they will look for someone else. They will demand all of your love and attention, but they won't give anything to you. They will be very envious and jealous of any attention that you receive, but they won't see any issue with extracting that for themselves. They will be envious of other people's achievements, but they will demand and expect admiration for theirs. They will hold you accountable for your actions, but they will take no responsibility for their own. They will accuse you of doing what they have done. They will project their faults and mistakes onto you. They will treat you like you are worthless and beneath their consideration. They will look down on you because in their minds they are superior to you. So they expect you to envy them. If you're not, they will get very annoyed. But they're also very envious of you and other people. It makes them feel vulnerable and at risk. Just by seeing someone who is happy or confident, it makes someone to insult that person or treat them condescendingly. But why do they do that? Why are they always in opposition to you? Why do they always have to disagree with you? Why do they say no to things that could be good for them? Why do they always have to lie? Why do they live in a fantasy world that's all about money, power and status, where they are powerful and attractive and everyone desires them? The reason why is because their narcissism is driven by a need to prove themselves better than other people. It's all about them. It's all about their social or professional position. It's all about their pleasure or satisfaction because they have an empty void that can never be filled. They have a constant need for validation because they have a fractured and unstable sense of self. So they need narcissistic supply because for a moment it fills that void. But if they can't get positive attention, they will settle for negative. They will create drama and chaos because it's still giving them attention. It still makes them feel like they exist. They have unrealistic standards. They keep you running on this hamster wheel in an effort to please them. But even if you do achieve their specified standards, they will move the goalposts. They will alter the conditions or rules to make it more difficult for you because it makes them feel powerful and important. The narcissist will engage in grandiose behavior or they will play the victim. 
They will express opinions or sentiments intended to demonstrate their good character or moral correctness. They will express their perceived justifiable anger, disgust or frustration towards other people who they believe to violate ethical values or standards. They will interpret or regard something as a lack of fairness or justice. They will say or do things because they are well received by other people. Or because they want to be thought of as having a lot of intelligence and knowledge. Not because it's something they actually believe or want to do. They will even show a disinterested and selfless concern for the well-being of other people. But these are all deceptive outward appearances. They're false appearances that they use to make themselves seem more pleasant or better than they really are. All they care about is how it makes them look and how it gets them what they want. They're only concerned with their superficial image, the general impression that they present to other people. They lack depth because they're only concerned with how other people see them from the outside. They want to be seen as a parent who loves and cares for their children. Someone who is very fond of their partner and children and likes to spend a lot of time with them. They are the closest friend. The employee who is dependable arrives on time, does what they say and doesn't let other people down. The loving, caring relationship partner. Or at least, that's how it looks to the outside world. Because it's only the people closest to them that get to see who they really are. They keep a code of silence. They withhold important information. And they only reveal things that make them look good so that they can protect their false image. But if you spend a lot of time around them, you're going to see their mask slip. You're going to see who they really are and they're not going to be able to control how you see them. So instead, they will control how other people see you. They will control any threat to their false image, any threat to their social or professional position, and they will see it as an abusive remark on them or relating to their personal character, rather than something that is based on facts or evidence. And they will respond more emotionally and forcibly than is justified. They will show a strong and unreasoning desire for revenge because they have experienced a narcissistic injury. They will hold a grudge against you. They will hold on to it for a very long time. They will be very spiteful and vindictive. They will hold enough resentment strong enough to justify retaliation. When they can no longer destroy you from the inside, they will try to destroy you from the outside. Once you get fed up of the abuse, they will have to punish you for leaving them. And if you should return to them, it will get even worse. They will be more secretive, but even more inclined to harm you. Because you've already rejected them. You've already caused a narcissistic injury. So they're never going to be the same way as they were before. They're just going to project that hurt back onto you. They're never going to change. 
because they will never accept responsibility. It always has to be someone else's fault. So someone else has to solve the problem because they're the ones who are suffering. So they expect everyone else to change to make it easier for them. They expect you to try harder to please them and to meet their unrealistic demands. Which is just another manipulation tactic. They have no intention to change because they don't think there's anything wrong with them. The only thing they will change is their way of doing it. They will find other ways. They will be more crafty and deceptive because they don't see their behavior as the problem. In their eyes, the problem is that they got caught or that you figure them out. So they just find better ways of concealing their true intentions and motives. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.